Live on tape from our quarantine departments in New York City, it's your new lockdown obsession. It's the only game show that tests how well do you really know your best friend. Hmm? It's BFF. Now here's your host, Trista Crick. Our guests today need no introduction to anyone who's ever shoved a coworker or watched House of Cards frame by frame. On our left is a gentleman plucked from the graces of the prestigious My Bookie livestream. His cowbell collection is the envy of every farmer's wife in Starkville, Mississippi, as is his hair. Please welcome the host of the Unnecessary Roughness podcast and Walk the Line, Brandon fucking Walker. Hi, Krista. Thank you for having me. I appreciate this. <laughs> you seem super excited to be here. You're brushing your lovely mane. I, I am trying to make myself look as good as possible. And since you just took a shot at my hair, whatever, I don't care. Just, just do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be fine. On it. our right is the worst gambler at a company ran by a man who just lost $2 million in two days. He lives in his parents' house with a parrot, lost barstool idol the Mantis, yet manages to pull tail well out of his weight class. It is the host of Making a Gambler, Martin J. Mush. How the hell are you? That was an incredible introduction. Of that was nice. I felt good about that. <laughs> like I said, you look better than ever in quarantine, my man. I do. I think I need this time to grow everything out. I mean, I think there's people who are suited for quarantine, and then there's some that are not. <laughs> what do you? Uh, would you like to continue that? Elaborate. Yeah, well, do you know that Brandon hit 270 pounds? What was he before? <laughs> I remember there was a time where Brandon said he was trying to lose weight. Ideally, I would, but quarantine is hitting me hard. Now you're trying to enter the NFL draft. <laughs> well, now I got—I just did the yak, and Big Cat's trying to convince me just to keep going and go up to three bills. <laughs> We're going to get into the game. Remember, the key piece is that you guys should know that you're operating as a team. The score to beat this season right now is 480 points from Casey Smith and John Feilberg. Let's start the game. Here's how it's played. There are three rounds. The first round, are you engaged? The first round is the lightning round. In this round, Brandon and Mush have one minute to correctly answer as many questions as possible about their bestie. You have a question. I do. Um, I've never seen a game show where the lightning round is the first round. Usually you escalate to the lightning round. Uh, do you think you've got a good structure here? So far, so good. We're going to keep going. We had each guest answer a series of intimate questions ahead of time. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Yes, Brandon. How intimate are the questions? I, I haven't seen Marty naked. I know fights in case you have, but I, I don't know how, how intimate we're talking. You guys both have seen the questions beforehand. I set you 10 questions, Brandon, and I sent Marty 10 questions. Right. And we'll get each other's answers, right? Okay. Got I'm not going to get any of these. You have 60 seconds to answer as many as possible. As I said, who wants to go first? Brandon. Marty. You. Me. All, All right. the person goes first. That's not. Okay. Okay. Put 60 seconds on the clock. Are you, are you ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> what was Marty's favorite grade school subject? Math. False. Jim, what is his favorite body part on himself? His knees. Oh, that's correct. It's not his hip? It's his knee. Easy, yeah. Easiest sport for Marty to gamble on? Football. WNBA. How long has he owned his parrot? Three years. 15 years. What's his go-to order at Hooters? Uh, honey barbecue wings. Ooh, that's close. We'll, we'll give that to you. Honey yeah. barbecue wings and Mott sticks. Batman or Superman? Uh, he's a Superman guy. Woo! That's right. Did he see more or less than one and a half movies in the theater in 2019? Less. Ooh, that's right. Favorite TV show of all time? Uh, uh... Are you kidding me? House of Cards. I don't know. Oh, curb your enthusiasm. Top oh, my God! That was so easy! I know. Sorry. Keep going. Or no top sheet? No top sheet. Woo, right. Favorite letter in the alphabet? M? P. How? Oh, that's time. You guys got through them. 
That was pretty good. I, I'm embarrassed I missed Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb, that thought. was the easiest question there was. It's a lightning round. I, your mind is going, I don't know. You're I'm handing out the cards. <laughs> good All stuff. right, Marty, are you ready? Now, Marty, take this seriously now. I want to beat these people. I am, but I don't, I'm kind of fucked with you, but all right. <laughs> Just make sure you get through enough questions. I can see you getting through like two and a half questions. You gotta answer quick, Marty. You gotta just answer quick. Fast, right. fast, fast. Are you ready? And we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. What is Brandon's favorite swear word? Shit. Fuck. What is one thing he misses most about Mississippi? Uh, the food. That's right. Favorite white NBA player to shout out while shooting a fadeaway? Um, Scalabrini. Tom Chambers, does he own more or less than 15 pairs of underwear? Less. More. On a, surprising. On average, how many times does he and the missus have sex per week? Oh, not a lot. Three? Four. Four? Oh, <laughs> That's right. We'll take that. A year without fast food or a year without cutting his hair? Um, a year without cutting his hair. Fast food. Favorite sports movie of all time? Um, Hoosiers. That's right. Favorite road trip song? Oh, that song you sing, I don't know what it's called. He all right. sings it all the time. Fa what is his middle name? Uh, Brandon. That's right. What is his favorite musical artist? Um, Eminem. <laughs> so surprising. Favorite thing about, oh, that's time. <laughs> I knew it wasn't Eminem. <laughs> Outcast. We 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 we've been in the car together singing Outcast. I know. I always forget that guy's name. After round one, Marty Mush and Brandon have a total of ninety points. Very respectable. I don't remember what Casey and John had at this point, but I'm gonna say it was right around that neighborhood. So you guys How are many rounds are in this damn game. Three rounds, like I said in the beginning, <laughs> Brandon. Three rounds. All right, now we're on to the second round, which we call "Who is more likely." It's pretty simple. Yep. Uh, you're the game show host. You're you're doing well, but do you think a game show host? Is, you ever seen one dressed in a t-shirt? <laughs> blazers on. Do you want me to go and get a blazer? Hold on. No, I, I'm just asking a question. What the I, fuck is wrong with you? What's well, good? You look like a game show host. Well, I had blazers on the last ones, but I was like, fuck it. All right, we're on to the we're on to the second round, which we call who is more likely. It's pretty simple. I give you a scenario. You tell me who fits the question best. There okay. are 10 questions. In this round, they're each worth 20 points. You only get the points if you both give the same answer. There's no time limit, so just take your time. All right. <laughs> who can eat more wings in one sitting? Woo! Who is more likely to re-gift a bad present? Boom. Who drinks more water each day? Boom. First to fall asleep in the car on a road trip. Man, you guys are good. Who got the better wardrobe? Oh, that's the first wrong one. Who's I knew I had. I wanted to get that one wrong because <laughs> said Tim, and I I knew it was gonna say him. Those Adidas are pretty damn good. I like those Wrangler <laughs> jeans. Fucking t-shirts every day. Put a lot of thought into my t-shirts. Wrangler jeans. I baby. have a carefully curated t-shirt collection. Let's go. Who's the better gambler? Mm. Also wrong. Who's more likely to lie to get out of a social obligation? Ooh. Who's more likely to go viral? <laughs> Who's, I like you guys got it. Who's more likely to get a Twitter ban? <laughs> Who would win in a game of poker? And who is the better basketball player? Hey, we fucking kill and I could have got all of them. I just have principle. <laughs> right. Well you you put us together. I'm not gonna say he's a better anything than me. No, no chance, but we fucking killed that. We could have got all of them if you'd have given yeah. us the right questions. That was crushed. We just How are we doing? Where where are we staying right now? Going into the final round, Brandon and Marty have a total of two hundred and seventy points. 
One player has 60 seconds to get their bestie to respond with as many correct answers without saying the clue word or phrase. Uh, each correct answer is 25 points, knucklehead, and with an extra possible 100 bonus points for all six correct answers. I believe in you, but you can pass on a clue and return to it later. So who's gonna be giving clues and who's gonna be answering? What do you think, Brian? I think Marty should give the clues. Yeah, I think so. Because if I try to give the clues and he can't get them, I'll, I'll kill him. Yeah, I'll do the clues. All right, put 60 seconds on the clock, Mr. Hashemi. Three, two, one. When people don't do anything at Barstool. Uh, things that Mantis does. No, no. Th th things that make me mad. Not you, things but. Things make Dave mad. Yeah. Um, tallest person on a basketball court. The center. The, the what center. sport? Huh? What sport is it? Basketball? Abbreviation. The abbreviation C, of basketball. C. C. But B, B ball. But what? Is, NBA. What? Is, yeah. What? <laughs> Who did I play? Who did I play in uh, Be Upon with Dana? Uh, somebody not famous, but you thought it was like Morgan Wallen. What does he do? Country music. Sure. That worked. That worked. Um, hot pockets, um, pizza rolls, frozen foods, frozen Dave? pizza, <laughs> hot things, hot things. You fucking idiot! What are you saying? You're not giving me any clues. Hot pocket. Where do you put them? Microwave. No. The oven. Just store them. The, the freezer. Yeah. Take it. What did you say? Ice cream. You dumb fuck. Wings. Mozzarella sticks, Hooters. our favorite place together. Hooters! Boom! Five out of six. That's pretty good. What, is, what, what was the NBA thing? NBA, NBA centers. centers. <laughs> NBA centers. You would have had to say, Larry, uh, you know, you- What did you say, Patrick Ewing or Akeem Olajuwon? Yeah, Shaq. Well, I mean. You have to say Shaq, Akeem Olajuwon, et cetera, et cetera. So we didn't that win. was pretty good. That was good. Man, you were so close. You just needed one more and you guys have obliterated them. Does it make you feel bad that you couldn't say things found in a freezer fast enough? I think you would have gotten it if it wasn't for that. You think of the freezer, he said Hot Pockets and he said Pizza Rolls. That makes me- I took those in my freezer. Say ice, ice cream, <laughs> ice trays. I forgot about the ice. The ice is separate for me. So, I mean, such an underrated thing to put in a freezer ice. Yeah, it well, is. You hardly ever think of ice when you think of frozen things. That's true. It's not. I honestly, I think we did way better than I thought we were going to do. We did, we did pretty well. Thanks for joining us on BFF, Brendan and Marty. You truly are best friends. But are you the bestest of friends? Your final score is 370 points. We're going to compare your scores across season one to find out who's the best. You're currently in second place. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode of Barstool Friends Forever.